In May of 2009, Energy Secretary Dr. Stephen Chu suggested that painting roofs white to reflect sunlight could make a huge difference to global warming. At Organic Food Depot, we were more concerned about making an immediate difference in our comfort and electricity bill. In the summer of 2010, our store's main air conditioner broke and a replacement was not available for six weeks. During that time, we experienced some of the hottest temperatures for the entire summer with many days over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. To reduce store temperatures and to allow our remaining air conditioning unit to carry the load and moderately cool the entire store, with the encouragement of our landlord, we chose to coat our roof with Coolray, a white, non-toxic, water-based shading material normally used on greenhouses. Its primary benefit is that it does not adhere strongly to the surface and washes off slowly a little bit at a time during each rainstorm. By fall, it is gone. It worked so well for our stores, we decided to do it again for 2011. Our flat roof is made of EPDM, a black rubber material which is a near-perfect solar absorber. It gets very hot in the summer, transferring its heat by conduction through the roof and dramatically heating up our store space below. Having used Coolray on our greenhouse for many years, we knew it worked well and would be environmentally benign. Coolray comes in 5-gallon pails and is available from a wide variety of greenhouse supply companies on the internet. You can also get a sticker compound which appears to be little more than watered-down Elmer's glue. This causes the wash-off rate to slow. Using several 5-gallon buckets, we mixed up a thicker-than-normal concentration to gain better reflection. We used approximately 1 gallon of Coolray to 3 gallons of water, giving us 4 gallons of final solution for each gallon of Coolray, which works out to about 20 gallons total. We were able to cover our 3,000 square feet and then had some left over, so we did the rest of the roof, a total of 8,000 square feet. Because our roof is flat and smooth, application by roller was quick, easy, and inexpensive. While we could have used a sprayer, using a roller reduced spray drift and splattering, thereby greatly reducing cleanup. Application must be done in a warm day when no rain is likely. Although once applied, the material will dry in a matter of minutes, it really needs a day or two to bake and cure for maximum benefit. If you get rain too soon after application, it is likely to wash off, prematurely wasting your material and your time. During the application process shown in this video, the large air conditioning units you see ran almost constantly before we started. By the time we were done, each unit was cycling on and then off for five minutes or more, suggesting a real and immediate reduction in electricity being used for cooling. What started out as a black solar absorbing roof is now a heat reflecting white surface which will last all summer, greatly reducing our electricity usage, saving us money, and helping us reduce our contribution to global warming. We encourage you to consider a similar solar reflecting project for your roof.